here is where you need to take a piece of stabilizer and I already have it cut out somewhere it's right over here let me grab it really quickly you slide a piece of stabilizer underneath your hoop and this is going to be basted in place to help stabilize and so the most important thing is just making sure that this is nice and flat Ooh, look, a piece of fabric that I forgot to remove. All right. So now the machine is just going to base this right in place. And I like to slow this down. Now this part is really important in the embroidery and I really like to slow this down even more to the second lowest speed and I'm going to find my stiletto wherever I have left it. Here it is. And what's going to happen is the machine is going to go and overcast the raw edge. But when you have an edge embroidery like this, you want to make sure that when the machine is sewing that it's actually going to catch the edge of the fabric. So, slowing the machine down as much as you feel comfortable. Make sure that that needle hits the fabric and sews it in place. And then once it's on, you can go ahead and speed it right back up. As fast as it can go. And the stiletto is a really nice tool for that, so you don't have to ever worry about sewing through your fingers. But now Ruby's just going to go ahead and do the rest. And one thing before I move Ruby to another location, but I'll make sure and keep the camera going so you can see what she does. Here is uh, the other side of the embroidery, and you can see it right as it's done out of the hoop, you can see the base and all the sewing and the two layers of stabilizer. And I have a project. And then something that I already made as a table runner, and you can see how nicely you can use the beautiful edge design. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll make sure and show you a really picture, really good picture. And you can see how once you put this in the washer, all the water soluble stabilizer washes away. And what you're left with is just this beautiful airy cutwork. And when you match the bobbin thread to your top thread, you can see that even though the bottom is never going to be as beautiful as the top, it's still much more appealing to look at than, uh, say, this, where the top is uh, the beautiful red and then the back has all this white bobbin thread on it. And I should say, it's always a good idea to stitch out a sample of what you're going to do and that way you can know where it's important to use things like a stiletto to help you stabilize the edge. But um, this is it. This is Infra Cutwork Needles and um, I love them and I hope you do too. So anyways, I'll show you how this embroidery comes to life.
So I've got one last tip for you after you've finished your embroidery. And I'm always so happy when I see that I'm able to create something like this at home on my own sewing machine. And um, it's always a lot of fun. But one last thing, and it's so important to do, actually if you have any problems while sewing and you find that you have a thread nest or something, what you really want to do is go into your machine. Let me just grab a little tool or something. And um, a screwdriver is probably a little bit better for this. But what you do, take out your bobbin, go in, pop up your bobbin case, take everything out, and it never fails. Look at all this lint right in here. And what you want to do is just really simple. Just get a vacuum, your normal vacuum, and it's not hard at all. All you do... and you're good to go. It's that simple. And then of course, you know, you put everything back together and let's see, put bobbin casing back in and I'll worry about that later. But it's the last thing you need to do. And if you do that every time you do cut work, your machine will do many cut works and I think you'll be happy with every single one of them. So anyways, thanks and I hope you like this.